episodes on season 10 that were in the finale edits that you wish were. All right, y'all, here is part two of AMA with me, Mama You. Let's dive into these questions, shall we? Happy holidays! And you know what reminds me the most about holidays? Are the scents. And today I'm gonna share with y'all one of my favorite fragrance brands out there, Dozier. And I'll turn it a fair way to fragrances. They take luxurious high-end fragrances and reproduce these famous brands that are $200 to $300 to just $29 to $59. I myself prefer something sweet and fruity and sometimes a little bit earthy too. What I love is that inside there's a card that tells you exactly what's in there. What it smells like, the inspiration. For example, the Ambery Mint is inspired by one of Versace's fragrances. Dozier has a welcome offer up to 20% on the site. You can actually get up to 30% by using the code. The extra 5% applies at checkout. The bottles are very chic and very minimalistic looking. Plus, they're very travel size friendly, so if you're having a night out, just put it in your bag and go. Let's test the Ambery Mint together, shall we? Very minty, feels like I'm walking through the forest. Love it, very luxurious too. Kind of reminds me of spring, which I'm kind of jealous of because we're still in the winter. Very good. Now, let's test the woody sage together. Now, the holidays, especially winter, I prefer something a little bit woody because it just reminds me of like the wood, the fire, very earthy, very homey and farmhouse. I love it. Like between these two, it is really hard to pick. It's very earthy, just as expected. There's a hint of sage in there. Very glamorous, just feel like a queen myself. And it's very unisex too, which I really enjoy. I love Dozier, and Dozier love their customers too. And that's why the Black Friday sales have already begun with up to 55% off their site. So what are you waiting for? Go to the link below and start shopping for the holidays. Plus, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Like, literally. Okay! Serious question, you are a workhorse. You have maximized what an early out queen can accomplish through a good social media platform. What do you think helped you accomplish this? Not every queen has been able to have success during YouTube, so clearly you must be doing something unique. You know, YouTube is not easy. It's not. Like, some girls try doing review shows, they're like, girl, this is so hard, what the f girl? Like, I wanna quit. I'm telling you, it's a lot of work. You sit and you grind and you work, 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 work. Like, I know I look, you know, pretty decent now, but like after all this ends, I'm sitting in front of a computer editing, my hair is tied into a bun, I have, you know, lunch in front of me, I'm eating, I'm missing out days, you know, walking on the street or going to the park or hanging out with friends. It's seriously work. You know, you want, you want it? Go work for it. Nothing is ever handed to you. Like you might have stuff being handed to you during your first year. I was about to say first year, but nowadays there's so many season franchises that, you know, you have stuff handed to you for the first few months of your season, but afterwards, it's all gone. Would you f alien? Yeah. If they were a man dressed in cosplay with an alien, why not? Hi, queen. I'm a big fan. I've seen a lot of your times in real life. Who is this? And you're so much fun as a host and definitely slept on. You have so much energy and love it. I love the video where you gave Laganja that check and one of the sweetest moments ever. I was one of the one who put in the prompts for the chat GBT drag race where you want if you saw it. Yes, I know who you are, James, right? I think, yeah, I have a lot of questions. Feel free to skip some if you can't be bothered. Who are your favorite guests on Bootleg Opinions? I'm not gonna name names, but the ones that are my favorites are the ones that come prepared professional, again, including showing up on time, um, watch the episode, and being prepared. And then when you show up, you deliver. You give me answers. Not just, you know, um, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't really like it, but it's not for me, but it's for her. Girl, I don't give a f and nor does the fans want to see you tiptoe around a f opinion. Say what you mean and say it and back it the f up. That's all I care about. And I don't care for queens that change their answers specifically because I said an answer. 
I don't like that. Like, I want to hear your opinion. I want to have a banter back and forth discussing about a look because we come from different parts of the world and we do drag differently. So I want to hear your perspective. So when I said the queen is changing their answer because of what I said, that's when I'm like, eh, whatever. But if they are understanding and they change the answer because they can actually see it from my point of view, then I'm on, then I'm like, okay, cool. You was bootleg drag race season one cast. Go. Okay. Let's do 10 queens. Let's start with eight queens. Can we do eight queens? And then if I have eight queens, I'll do 10 queens. Laganja, Rock, Alexis Mateo, um, Onjana. That bitch is so public. Uh, who else? Um, Evie, uh, Kylie, uh, who else? Uh, all the top of my head that are public. One, two, three, four, five, six. I would say Alexa Michelle is kind of bootleg too. Um, who else? Who else? Who else? I'm doing the US girls only because, you know, if I do outside of all the franchises, that wouldn't be fair because, you know, I don't really watch all seasons. Um, so it's Laganja, Rock, Alexis, and Alexis, Angina, Evie, Kylie. Wow, I can't even get eight. Let me look through the people that I've worked with. Maybe that will help because, you know. Because sometimes these, some of these queens, they just come and go, like... Sometimes they come on and I'm like, I never want to work with you again. Okay, who did I work with? Oh, James! James is cool. James and Bosco, I would say. James and Bosco. And Milk would be a good bootleg queen, too. One. And April, carry on. Uh, who else? Oh, Heidi! Heidi and Jasmine. Kennedy. Why did I forget some of these? And Cynthia, I would say. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 queens. So they are Laganja, Estranja, Rockham, Sakura, Alexis Mateo, Anjana, Evie, Kylie, Sonic, Love, Alexis, Michelle, James Mianski, Bosco, Milk, April, Carillon, Heidi in Closet, Jasmine, Kennedy, and Sincheli Fontaine. Cuckoo! What embarrassing money, embarrassing money, <laughs> what embarrassing memory keeps you up at night? Um, not, mm, hmm, recently? Nothing really. I think when you accept all your flaws and all your strengths, nothing really bothers you. Because you are living in the moment, that's part of who you are. Embarrassing. Some queens might say like, oh, I fell off stage. And I'm like, that's happened to me so many times. I'm like, whatever. Or forgetting the worst. I'm like, whatever. Nothing really. My thick, my thick is too thick. My skin is too thick. How did it feel to win the hearts of the world in record time? You're such a fantastic show, soul. Thank you for providing some much needed laughter to the people when we need it the most. Aw, thanks, babes. Um, I don't think... I won the hearts of the world. I think I'm just a mess. Thank you for supporting Drag. You, how do you feel about the fan base's reaction to you? You get so much love and I feel like you're one of the most successful queens out there in terms of staying relevant through utilizing social media. Has your relationship with the fans changed a lot because of it? Do you love it, hate it? I love it. I love the fan base. The fan base, I do. I love the fan base. Doja Cat could never. Let's just say that. I think the fan base didn't really care about me during my season, but I think now they're like, okay, whatever. Just let her be whatever she wants to be. Did you ever get your toes to promoting Real Friends of WeHo? Would you still use it? And what did you spread on your toes? I don't eat toast, unfortunately. And yes, the toaster. It arrived, mama. But I gave it away. What queens would you like to see as future guests? Whoever's available, let's just say that. There's room for everybody. What do you think of the chat GBT drag race if you saw? I did see it. I enjoyed it. Um, I kind of didn't know that. Whoa, why the fuck am I bleeding? Do y'all see it? I was like, why am I so wet over here? Anyway, let me wipe this up. Um, I saw it, um, I won, apparently. Like, 
If y'all want to watch that video, go check it out. Link in the link in the description. It's basically a AI generated fan fiction of the cringe subreddit, and apparently I win. Um, I've never read it before, so I read it for the first time ever while reading it for that video. So you'll get a lot of like hands-on <laughs> reactions too as I'm reading it. Um, but yeah, there's animations involved too, so go check it out. Come on, blood. Um, why are you always serving even in bootleg like, outfits from H&M? Cause I can, you know, and I will. I, I think people also have to understand that I'm filming a YouTube video at home after a show at 11 p.m. So my priority is not me looking amazing. My priority is filming it, getting it out there and on time, and also delivering it in the video with my opinions and having a fun banter with my guests. It's not about how amazing I can look. Like, I can look amazing and I spend all my time getting ready and if I'm tired and if I'm not delivering on camera after doing a two hour show previously, well, maybe an hour and a half show previously, then the video quality is not good. You know what I mean? We want quality not quantity of how much I spent on an outfit. What does cringe appeal to you when so many queens seem to hate it? I think it appeals to me because it's part of me. So I have to love me for me and accept me for me. So let's say if, you know, another trait that I might possibly have is, you know, sometimes a little bit too happy sometimes. You know, I also have to accept the fact that I'm a very positive person. I'm always like, let's do this, let's do this, let's go, 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 go. I'm a very motivated person as well. So you just have to accept you for who you are. For instance, some gays might not like the fact that they're femme presenting sometimes. And when people say that they're femme presenting or they have some fan mannerisms, they might not like it, but you still have to accept that that's part of who you are. So once you accept that part of who you are, and you will end up loving whatever trait that might be. Um, what are your favorite poses from here and how often do you lurk? Girl, I am on here every fucking week. Y'all have some of the funniest ever. I am on here every fucking week. Like, sometimes multiple times a week too. Like, I know some queens are like, I'm not on Reddit, I'm not on Reddit, I, I ain't got no time on Reddit. You stupid dumb Like, why aren't you listening to what people are saying about you? Like, this is part of the fan base. And don't you want to see what people think about you like i know you're not supposed to care but like don't you want to know what people are liking about you and disliking about you so that you can market yourself a little bit better and perhaps seem to change up your attitude a little bit some of you mm-hmm anyway that's my rant um what happened with the last few as eight bootleg opinions girl could not get anyone to watch this season. Well, there were queens that were like, okay, we'll watch this specific episode. I'm, I'm like, you need to watch all the previous episodes too, to in order to have a conversation about these, you know, these queens. But yeah, couldn't really get any queens to watch. And to be honest, some of the sponsors didn't really want to invest in it too. So like, when they said that, they were like, we don't really want to have the YouTube ad for this season. So when that happened, I'm like, girl, I ain't pulling any money out of my own pocket to pay these queens. <laughs> Cause you know, I'm a business person, first and foremost. Is it very dry? Yes, kinda like your vagina. <laughs> Sorry. Who are your favorite drag queens, local and rude girl? Oh my God, blood. Um, local. I don't even know who's out there anymore. I, like, in New York, not really. There's so many new baby queens. And most of the queens that I hang out before, before Drag Race, they've already gone on Drag Race, so I don't know. Hmm, good question. Rue girls. Um, I'm not really close to a lot of the girls, honestly. There's a few select ones. Like, if you see them on bootleg opinions, that means I enjoy with working with them. And if they've been back on more than one time, I really do enjoy them. You know, that's how you know. Well, what are things you like to do with your drag career in the future? Movies, films, televisions, you name it. I want to be doing what RuPaul's doing. Um, what TV shows are you watching at the moment? I've been trying to get into Black Mirror. I had a guy over and he recommended Black Mirror and yeah, I'm kind of liking it. And it's really hard for me to get into TV shows, especially because 
I have a very short attention span, so if you get me to a TV show or a movie, then I mean it's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, was there anything on you episodes on season 10 that were in the finale edits that you wish were? You seemed really tired in the last episode. Fun fact, I was really, really, really sick in the last episode. Really sick. Like, like, couldn't go on. Kind of sick. But I'll say that much. And, you know, leave it at that. Um, on season 10, I kind of wish that they show the parts where I talked about gender. Like, non-binary, you can be a man, you know, if you want. You can be a woman if you want, or just neither. And I wish that they showed that conversation a little bit more. Um, or the storyline. Any BTS season 10 T besides your crowning? Um, I died. Just kidding. The coma. I'm curious if you still keep in contact with any of your season 10 sisters. Not really. Loud and proud. Not really. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say like, oh, we have such a good time. We go out and text each other and like, whenever we're in each other cities, you know, we hang out and we don't. We really don't. And I don't think that that happens with other queens from my season too. Well, maybe the, the, the top four queens, because you know, they're always in the same tour anyway. They're always on the same tour, so like, when they make it into the finale, they have a longer time of spending time together. But like, me and the other queens, like, I was an early out, so like, I didn't really have any connection with any of them. And honestly, when I got eliminated, they asked me in like, the interviews and stuff, they said, would you miss any of the queens? Do you feel like you've built a sisterhood? I was like, no. Not really. And they were like, you sure you want to answer that? I'm like, yeah. Not really. I didn't feel like I connected with really any of the queens. And I don't know if we would stay in touch, to be honest. Because, you know, for me, in order for me to connect with you and hang out with you, there must be a bond. You know, it's not just a work environment bond. It needs to be more personal than that. All right, y'all, that is another AMA with Mama You. Till next time, bye! Hey, squirrel friends, when one video ends, just click on another one. It's called cringe viewing. Go ahead, I support you.